and welcome to your gold market update for today the 5th of september mike smith senior analyst at go markets here with your look around what's happening in the markets today let's look across the news wires of course on friday u.s markets dropped again after the non-farm payrolls jobs report despite a positive open all indices continued their slide that they've been in really for the last week u.s futures trading this morning just above neutral in Asia and Asian indices are mixed. The ASX is one of the indices to the upside, just about holding on to small gains of around about 0.15% with materials and energy sectors leading the way. However, only four sectors are in positive territory. European equity futures point to a significantly lower open as US markets drop significantly after European markets closed on Friday. So the DAX is expected to drop around about 25 to 3%. US dollar index is retesting 20 year highs today with the euro particularly looking weak. Gold is holding that 1700 level after last week's drop and a test of six week lows. All bounced off mid August lows with the OPEC meeting due today. It is anticipated they may cut production slightly. And copper is testing 340, which represents monthly lows. The VIX hasn't moved much despite that sell off on Friday and is paused just below that 25 level around about the 200 EMA. Cryptos moved very little last week. Bitcoin remained flat just under the important 20,000 level. And today it is a, a services PMI dominated day with numbers released globally. Chinese PMI already out and coming in around expectations. We've got numbers out of the UK and Europe later on this afternoon. Please remember also it is is Labor Day in the US, so all US markets are closed today, even though futures will continue to trade up. May make for a low volume, higher volatility session, perhaps. Just a couple of charts of interest that caught our eye. I thought we'd have a look at Bitcoin. You can see it's skating along its 19,800 level. This could be significant. You can see it tested it back here in June, once again in July, and that significant low that we hit at the beginning of July is the next level to the downside that may be tested if we break this level that we're currently at. Now if we look at what's happening in Asia you can see it's choppy but flat uh, but looks as though it may be up for a retest to the downside. On the ASX you can see BHP here pushed down towards this long-term support at 36 but actually only made it to around about 37 on Friday and you can see that nice bounce today back up towards 37.50 there could be an interesting potential bounce trade going on here there's where we are now at 37.44 here is the close price on thursday at 37.88 and then we've got a big gap to the upside which we may start to fill potentially in the first instance a test of around about 39 could be on the cards if we get further buying into this sector so there could be an interesting bit of price action depending on where we finish today's trading trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now